Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna to go over my most asked question. Now, I didn't think this would be my most asked question because I actually did a video explaining how this works uh, in a longer video, but clearly it, I didn't explain it good enough. So, today I'm gonna to answer all your questions. Do I need it? Where do I get it? Can I make my own? And a variety of other comments that I get about this orange wire. The orange wire on a FAR driver controller is by far my most asked question and today we're going to go over that on Tackle That. First thing we're going to talk about is the controller. You're going to have two flavors of controllers. One is going to be your cheaper controller and this is going to have two conductors for your e-lock or your power or whatever you want to call it. Usually it's called e-lock it's for electric lock. And these two conductors just need to be connected to each other through a switch. So this carries your positive side of the connection. This is going to carry your signal and that positive will go through a switch and back to the controller and that will turn your controller on and off. So if you have two conductors, you just need some type of switch. And this is a key switch with a voltmeter. I typically use if I have a metal throttle. And the two conductors on here, green and red, are going to be this switch. Now you also need a negative connector to make the voltmeter work. So you're gonna have three conductors, one, two, and three, and that is going, to, these two are gonna turn your uh, controller on, and this is gonna be the third to actually get that negative signal to turn your voltmeter on. The other type of controller is what we're really talking about today, and that is a FAR driver controller. So we'll put FD controller. And this has a lot of connections, but it's got usually five terminals on it. Now other brushless controllers might have pigtails. Either way, it's all the same. It's gonna have a positive, a negative, and a green, yellow, and blue for your phase wires for your motor. And those are big conductors. Those are gonna be bigger wires that are gonna carry more current. Of course, you're gonna have your battery, positive and negative. And when you connect your battery up to your FAR driver, you just connect these terminals up with the big wire. We're not gonna talk about the charging cable. That's obviously for charging. You don't really wanna connect anything up to that. So your battery connects directly to your controller. You also can put a breaker or a fuse or a contactor do your own research on that in this positive connector, and that way you can turn it on manually from the battery or turn things off if you need to, or if you short circuit something, the fuse can blow. We're not gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about this stinking orange wire. So where does the orange wire go in this big circuit? Essentially, you're gonna have a pigtail coming off of here with a bunch of wires, and there's gonna be an orange wire. And this orange wire off your FAR driver controller needs a positive signal to turn the controller on and off. So where do we get the positive wire to connect to the orange wire on the FAR driver controller to turn that on? Well, we can't connect it directly to the battery usually because that is like a XT90 connector or another big type of connector that doesn't allow you to connect small wires to it easily. So we have this terminal here on the FAR driver controller. It's getting that positive connection. So we can actually just tap into this terminal and take a lead off of that. And that, my friends, is the connection for your orange wire. And yes, you are gonna need it in this circuit. On this controller, you won't because it's got the two conductors all in one to complete that circuit. This one, you'll have to get your own positive connector from somewhere in your circuitry to connect to this orange wire 
And again, that will be a switch. And that switch will turn this far driver controller on and off as you add or remove that signal from your positive connection. Now what that actually looks like in real life, let's take for example this voltmeter. It's going to also need a negative connection so that you have these three conductors. You're going to have your two for your switch and one for your negative connector and that is going to give you your um, voltage and you also have your key switch. So that's your three connections on your key switch. Now it could be a little bit more complicated and you also have a throttle. It doesn't matter, it's all the same. This component here is gonna be these three conductors, but you also will have the throttle part and the throttle will have three connections as well. That's gonna be a negative, a plus five, and your signal wire. So that is how you're gonna get the potentiometer of your throttle information to your controller is through those wires. Now, since the negative is common, you'll only actually have five wires on here, even though I show six up there, because this one and this one are common, you don't need that redundancy. So that's your five connections for your throttle with your key switch with your voltmeter. This one is your connections for something like this. Or you can just have a switch. So if you wanna put a little thumb switch, like you know the gas engines, the on and off switch, you would just wire that switch right here and that could be that little, like it's on and off looking switch and that would just wire up to, let me remove these, Eric. And this is just a switch that actually just makes this connection. It could be any switch you want. It could be a light switch from your house. It doesn't matter. All a switch does is completes a circuit. Takes the signal from one side, transfers it to the other when it's turned on, and it completes that circuit. It just touches those two wires together. And then of course, if you're like me and you have a nice metal throttle, you're still gonna need those three conductors coming off of their metal throttle back to your far driver controller. So that's the different ways you can wire that up on the whiteboard. Let's actually dive in and look at it real world. Big reveal, let's open up this package. I actually got this from hotpacks.com. So if you want a plug and play way of connecting up this orange wire, just order one from Hot Packs and they will be happy to send you one. I think it was under $10. Here's what it looks like. The infamous orange wire, and it's just a simple one conductor connection. It connects, remember what we talked about, it's gonna connect from your controller terminal with this guy over to your input on your switch. And this has a spade connector on it. Let's get our controller out here. This is the FAR Driver ND72280 or the 260. And those are 80 amp um, controllers, which are really nice. They pair up well with these Vever motors. So these about two or 3000 watt motors, you can actually push them harder. I actually love getting a heat sink for it to watch your temperatures. But for a budget build, this is a great setup. So here's your three phase wires for your motor that I was talking about. These are your hall sensors. That's gonna connect all up here. And so let's do that real quick. You might need this adapter for your hall sensors. Hot Packs also has these. So when it comes to our connections, we have our Bluetooth adapter, and then you're going to find this orange wire. There it is. So here we have our battery. This is our pigtail. The pigtail should come with it. If not, you can just see what kind of connection you have, and you can order these on Amazon. So truth be told, this actually is a red wire from Hot Packs. So you can use any color you want. It does not matter. 
but they're showing you that a red wire, when we connect it to that positive terminal, this is going to carry a positive signal. So it's nice that it's red. All we have to do is connect that up to the orange wire on your controller. And when we do that and connect this up here, we are going to turn the controller on. Because remember on the whiteboard we said we're carrying the positive circuit over to this orange wire and that's going to turn this controller on. Problem is we have no switch here. So we need to put a switch in the middle of this circuit. And if you get a pre-wired throttle from hot packs or other uh, people that sell razor parts, this should be all wired up for you. But we're, what we're going to actually do is we're going to cut this wire and I'm going to put these 2.8 millimeter connectors on there. And that's what I'm going to use to complete the circuit. And I'm also going to put 2.8 millimeter wires on here because as you can see, that's got these other uh, type of connectors that I do not use. So we'll cut that off. Let's get you in for a closer shot. Got our connectors on there. And what we have is a two connector on our key switch. That is going to be the two connectors for your switch. And then remember, we got to source a negative for your voltmeter to turn on. So I'm just temporarily going to put it into the black connection on the throttle from the controller. So it's going to get a negative circuit. But again, you can go from your negative circuit on your battery post here. It doesn't matter. It just needs a positive and a negative to turn that voltmeter on here. As far as the switch, the way it's going to work is green is going to go to your battery and red is going to go to that orange wire. Now that's not always the case, but that is the case on this voltmeter here. Let's actually give her a shot. Now I've tightened up these uh, screws here. Let's connect it up. All right. And hey, and we had the key switch on, so it does show a voltage. Let's turn it down, off. All right, so she's working correctly. Now if your voltmeter stays on, you actually have to switch these two wires. But this is how you want it to work. Off, you can hear the far driver controllers off. Turn it on, far driver controller turns on. Now, of course, it's not configured, so it's beeping at me, probably over voltage protection here. Don't worry about that. But essentially, that's it, guys. You need to source a positive signal and get it to your orange wire on your far driver controller through a switch. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining us today. If that was helpful at all, give me a like, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you see these questions on the groups, on the Facebook groups, make sure you share this. A lot of people don't know this information's out there and uh, I'll try to shoot more videos like this pinpointing uh, issues that people are having when, when they're building their razors. So thanks again. See you on the next one.